Hello and welcome to Nerdy Thursday with Big Sky 35. Uh, just wanted to, you know, get with y'all today. Um, man, it's been a wild week and I don't know why. I did absolutely nothing last weekend. Kind of getting away from me. I got to go out of town this weekend, which I'm happy to do. I got to go, go help. I keep saying I got to. I, I want to go help my mother. Uh, so I'll be up in Virginia for a few days. Uh, so I'm recording this a little early. Might see this shirt a couple of times this weekend in, in videos. But that's okay. <laughs> uh, I just want to show you a couple of pickups that I got to uh, start off with. I, man, this week I haven't even picked up a controller, played a game, uh, taking my Switch with me this weekend. I'm, I'm going to be, again, helping my mom. And then one night hanging out with uh, actually a group of us high school friends are getting together, uh, which we talked to. I, a lot of people, you know, I, I've had the same group of friends more or less my whole life. Um, I added in some subtractions, of course, but uh, this group is a uh, mainstay in my high school and after. Uh, so we haven't been together in a while, um, probably about 20 years, I guess now, but we talk a lot on the phone and stuff and on the book faces. Uh, so yeah, we're going to have a good time with them Saturday night, try to stay in control. We're just going to be at a house, so we should be good kids. Uh, but that, that we'll get forward to that. And, uh, but first off and couple of those guys are nerdy like me so we, we're having a good time uh, but first off a couple of pickups i showed you that i got the boba fett one uh before christmas so i picked up the darth vader which i really and these two were the ones i was looking for and found them in walmart stormtrooper so i can't remember if i found them in walmart or books a million i can't remember it doesn't really matter but I found them out in the wild. Happy to add them to my... And this stuff, that's about the only way. When I go to a toy show or something, if it's something I like, I'll grab it. So I got to take a sip of Monster. It's early morning. Uh, and then the next thing I want to show you is I opened up a box of black pre-recorded. So I'd like to show you that break if I can, and we'll come back and talk about what my main subject for this Thursday is. It's going to kind of tie in with uh, Topps Black Series Chrome. So it's, here, take a look at it. Uh, I teased this there earlier in the week and uh, thought I'd open it up with you guys. I know my Thursday is not supposed to be card related really, but I thought this would be neat. To have on my nerdy Thursday, Star Wars Chrome Black, one encased autograph card in each box. Now I did already uh, cut it open. <clears throat> so, four cards per box. So it's a little bit pricey. Uh, I got this at my card local card shop. Uh, same price that it was on uh, tops, but I didn't have to pay the uh, shipping or anything. So I saved about $10 probably and got it a lot quicker. Well, we saw what the autograph was. I, I thought it was going to be packaged. So I saw what it was. wasn't all that great but it's still a character i love the character stuff and i'm gonna laugh if this is oh no this is admiral akbar akbar it's a trap so this isn't terrible <clears throat> i thought it was the one i just bought and this one's numbered out of 99. tim rose which is the one i just got uh, same character, uh, actor, but different characters he played. So, I wish I had that one handy. I think I might have just sent it 
off to get graded. Um, but yeah, uh, these I don't really send me graded because they already they got the little top tops thing. I got a couple of these. Um, I don't know, but let's open up the pack. Got three or four of the cards in here. Um, trying not to. Oh, so we got one of the Jedi, Plo Koon, which, oh, we got Cassian Andor, and last is K2 So, I think that's how you say it, and that one's out of 75, that's the blue, and the other ones are base, not, I don't, I think even the base is out of 199. No, nope, that's a different one. I guess that's a black. I'm trying to see what the differences are. Huh. I guess this is... I, I'm trying to see. Uh, silver, maybe? I don't know. Uh, 199 and 75, which is a blue. That one's easy to tell. Uh... You know, not the greatest box for what I paid. I paid one thirty-five for it. Uh, this is not a terrible auto, though, for somebody that collects. Um, if I would have got one of the like a if I'd have got a stormtrooper, it'd have been a perfect box. But um, if, or you know, Princess Leia or Asuka. A um, but you know, I wanted to rip one just to see, and. Uh, there you have it. So, thanks for watching. So, I hope y'all enjoyed that little box opening. Always fun. I know I told you I wouldn't show cards, but you know it fits this this uh, series of Nerdy Thursday. And uh, man, I really love those cards. Uh, they're nice ones. So, what I want to talk to you now. We're gonna, we talked about tops black chrome. Now tops for the main event. Tops Black series. So these are a little bit bigger than the regular action figures. Um, should have grabbed one to show you, but you know, they're the six inch. Is it? I think these are 12. Um, doesn't give you Diane, no. It's either eight or 12. Um, sorry about that little bit of information, but just it's very uh, articulated. If I, I don't take them out of my packages. They're, they're easy for me. I like to show them on the shelves. They do make stands for them, and they do stand very well and pose. There's a lot of, lot of uh, posable, bendable points in these. Uh, I've seen people have full armies of, of these uh, troopers and stuff, and make stop action movies and uh little clips and they're they're very good uh, you know if you you like this type of stuff uh i've been watching a uh thing on imps the uh, imperial army the troopers and it's a spoof uh kind, kind of like cops and they talk to the troopers and stuff and it's kind of funny but this is a regular one just straight from the movies so this is a uh, scout trooper. You would have saw this one in Return of the Jedi. Um, I believe that's when they made their first appearance um, in the third. Uh, well, it would have been the sixth movie. We got to remember I'm old. So for me, it was the third movie. Very confusing. Uh, so this is just a regular style. And I, I'll come back to that in a minute. Uh, and the reason why I'm showing that, so somebody like me that, is a collector and there's a lot of us out there for this man i i kind of been diving into this world of black series on youtube or just seeing what's coming up uh what's out there lists they also make like specialty ones so this is a what they call this is for the 40th anniversary star wars is good they you know when they teamed up with disney they know how to uh get up get our dollars so this is just a regular Stormtrooper Carbonite series. So I didn't have it. I got to pick it up, right? <laughs> I'm not a FOMO guy, but if I can afford it at the time, I will pick it up. 
Um, so yeah, this is the Carbonite series. Nothing special. It's just the regular Stormtrooper, but they made it. Now he's not in Carbonite. It just that's what they're calling it. That's the color Carbonite series. Uh, then they do this fun stuff where I'll, I'll pick up one holiday one every year. So this one's with the the Pogs or whatever from uh, what was it eight uh, when on the island with uh, Luke and Chewbacca was playing with them. I wanted Chewbacca to eat one of them so bad. <laughs> uh, so, and I think from what I've read in my quarterly, at first he was. He was supposed to be showing like when they were all around him. And then the next scene was supposed to be him cooking one on a spit, right? And that, that, that didn't, I don't think that went too well for like the kid friendly part. Because they wanted to, to sell the toys. They always got to sell the toys. So they make holiday ones. They make Halloween. I don't have a Halloween one. But they got like a Chewbacca that they made into a uh, snow, uh, like a Yeti. Um, things like that. They got uh, like a Stormtrooper wearing a skeleton outfit. Uh, things like that. I almost picked that one up because that is a Stormtrooper. And I don't have it. Uh, but I had to make... I bought three that day, and I didn't want to go overboard. And when I had a budget, and I was sticking to my budget. And that's the key thing. And I'll talk more about that in another episode coming up if you're watching my other stuff as well. So next is going to be uh, a gaming series. So they got you in holiday. They got you in specialty items. They got you, you know, just the regular uh, stuff. And, you know, now they're coming out with the TV shows, and I'll lump that in with just the movies. So they make, they got the uh, the black uh, store troopers that Luke Skywalker killed in The Mandalorian, right? So they're not human. They're, they are uh, robots, but they have those, you know, things that you, that they might, the flamethrower uh, stormtrooper from The Mandalorian. I have that in the dark series, or I mean, in the black series. The only time that one's ever shown is is in that. They so we'll we'll talk more about that. Uh, they also use the comics where some of the uh, stormtroopers are only in that uh, certain battalions, things like that. Well, this is a gaming one. So this one is from Battlefront Two. Also have gaming from. The uh, Last Jedi to uh, what uh, Force Unleashed. So they have gaming ones that the Stormtroopers were only seen in the gaming ones. Like the first time that the uh, the Jetpack ones were in uh, Force Unleashed. I don't know if I've seen those anywhere else. Maybe in the cartoons, but the Jetpack ones in Force Unleashed. So I have that one as well. So this one here is a Star Wars Battlefront II Imperial Rocket Trooper. So there you have it. <laughs> so, uh, I, and I have Battlefront II. I haven't played it that much. It, it's all right. I'm more, I played the single player, which was awesome. Um, at the time, I got it right when it came out. And the online experience just wasn't that fun for me. The, uh. I just, it was very, it wasn't, wasn't running it that well, I should say. It wasn't crisp. Uh, and then on top of that, they have Star Wars, Star Wars Edge figures. Now this figure here was also in the Mandalorian. So now I'm going to talk. I'll talk about this while I have it. I got one more figure to show you, which is one of my favorite figures. So this one here. So now they got, got this little thing, Star Wars Edge, right? Now that's at Disney, right? I, I want to get there so bad. My friends showed me pictures this year. Got to go in early. Another friend of mine got the fly. I, uh, everybody else gets to go but Scott. 
uh, I have to just uh, suck it up and maybe not do some other trips one year and go to Disney because uh, I want the full experience. And so not only will they use this one here, but they could also use this in the Mandalorian for when the Mandalorian dresses up like this. And also, they, I can't remember the name of the, the character that was with them. And they do. They have the Black Series of those guys. So they could just use the same one, right? Very smart. Disney Star Wars is very smart. So they just use the same figure. They might just put different helmets on them, color them different, and say, here we go. It's a different figure. But us suckers, we'll buy it. <laughs> and, I mean, that's just smart business on their part. And, I mean, I have troopers, clone troopers, just with different coloring on the masks. Uh I have yet to find one with the Ahsoka mask, and that would I have it in regular six inch. I don't have it in a black series. I don't even know if they made it yet, but that is a most positive one that I have to pick up. I might or I'm just don't have a good collection at that point. Uh, so if you don't know what that is, Ahsoka is a uh, Jedi. Uh, she has face tattoos and. Uh, from her being the the clan that she was born into. Uh, uh, more of that in Disney, she, they show her as a baby girl, first time she used the force. Uh, they do like a one thing that shows you like a background of the Jedi and other figures on Disney. Not, not bad, a quick little snippets, like 20 minutes. Uh, watch some of them. They got. I think the next one is. Uh, I can't remember who the next one I got. I need to watch. But they have like Obi Wan. They got Yoda. I think Yoda's with Yaddle. Um, kind of interested in that. Uh, so, you know, so they can make figures from any of that stuff, and it's just never ending. You know, Star Wars with all the characters and how then it can change it up and just change the color. Enough babbling. Let me get the, you can see how happy I am. This is why I had to get my figures out of the closet. I had to get them out of the you know boxes they were in. I had to get them out so I could see them because they just my collections bring bring a so I feel like I work hard for them. Um, and yes, they're nerdy, and uh, they might stop me from you know having a relationship at, at a certain point. Um, but at 51, um, I'm at the get off my lawn stage now. So if you can't handle it, I can show you where the door is. Uh, and I mean, and I'll meet you halfway. I'll clean up the living room. We can take all the stuff out the living room. Uh, <laughs> this is from Star Wars Adventures, okay? Now, Star Wars Adventures is a comic book series for children. Star Wars, they'll make a line of regular Star Wars for, for anybody. And then they have adult ones that are, you know, a little bit darker. But Adventures, if you see Adventures on it, it's made for uh, children. So I bought it. <laughs> but this is... A character from comic book series. So when they make a comic book series character, they put it in a book form. I have a couple of these. I have another one as well. Uh, but this is uh, Jackson, the rabbit. And what I don't like, though, is I like to leave it open so I can see it. But it's getting really worn. So I probably have to close it uh, on the bind. It's not a very thick binding here. So, I, and I want to keep it on there, of course. Uh, but here it is, and him being chased by a bounty hunter. Uh, so, I don't, I, I think they made an adventure series of him, but that's not the first time he was seen. I have the comic book that he was first seen in. His first one right here so star wars 
Eight Against the World. Uh, this is number eight. Um, I don't think this was the first edition. Now, this one I bought from, it's called Oak Leaf in Iowa, a comic book store I used to frequent there. Because um, this is number eight of seven of 77. So, I got this. This wasn't an expensive book. Because at the time... You know, he's just a back character, but he's a funny character. And it was just, he gets asked a lot about the, the bunny rabbit, right? Because <laughs> it's just an odd character. And I don't know if they, I don't think he's made it on screen anywhere, but he's in his comic. Uh, I don't think he's made it into a, a hardback book either. Uh, which is strange because a lot of comic book characters that get their start in comics sometimes make their way over um, or they're back and forth. Uh, because now, another spinning off of this, because now they've figured out the combination, right? So they'll make a comic. And what they did was they went full out and introduced this whole new series of the uh, old republic right uh and so they got the comic books they got the ventures the different comic books the novels they're supposed to be coming out with tv shows and movies so they introduced this whole new genre of star wars era to us and they're just gonna hit us with that plus adding stuff to the already canon that we have as well um so they, they 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 got i think they figured it out uh so they they know the people they want to have stuff that keep people in with the old heads like me or even people that watch the mandalorian and it was introduced to the mandalorian they're going to keep that stuff alive and people that got introduced to boba fett that'll get you into the older stuff but then they're going to come out with this brand new stuff to even get more people interested that's never seen it or all of us hungry for something new. Um, I really wish, I've said this before, and I'm hoping one day a Star Wars person will hear me, that I really like that. What's made Andor and some of these other ones refreshing? They might talk about the Force, but no Jedi. And, um, not even uh, Sith or, you know, no no Force users, I should say. And, I, you know, they, they might have Force disciples, which people, the Force is, is a religion um, in the world, so in the Star Wars canon. So you have Force people that, um, you know, follow it as a religion, uh, which is different. But... I would love to see a series on the bad guy side, like, or the Sith side, like old school Sith, uh, the, the, the rule of two and how they've got away from that. And the, you know, even with the rule of two, the Sith are going to be the Sith and find ways around it. You saw it in all the star Wars and a rule of two is just, there's only supposed to be a master and an apprentice. Well, you, you'll see that the Masters have secret ones, Darth Maul, um, Count Dooku. So then Count Dooku has his own apprentice. You know, uh, you, you just have, you know, this stuff like that. So I'm rambling. I've got off topic. But the, the Black Series, I've had people want me to go a little bit more in depth with Star Wars stuff. So, you know, yeah, they, they use the same molds, repaint the face a little bit. Uh it give us a bunch, and I have no idea. I mean, this was just uh, six right here, and from six different genres, and you know how big, you don't have to be, but just familiar with Star Wars and know how large a scope it is. Um, so that's why I kind of really had to focus on what I collect in Star Wars. Um, you know, there's, there's going to be an oddball like Jackson. 
it's going to be, you know, I want to, I love Ahsoka, so I collect Ahsoka stuff. I love the Stormtroopers. Um, and, you know, if it's a cool character or something that I really like, I'll pick that up as well. But that's really far in between. I, I'll pick, I like, I got, I picked up some of the sisters uh, and some of the, the people that were hunting the force dealers in, in, in the cartoons and uh, Obi-Wan and the games. Uh, so, you know, if it's cool, I got the dark side Ray. Uh, I, I just pick up stuff that I, I think is fun and uh, I think is enjoyable. And I, I got to stay very focused when it comes to Star Wars or it'll get out of hand fast. And I, I might be on the edge of that now with just what I do collect. <laughs> With, with everything else I collect as well. But this is just something, you know, if I see it, I like it. Most time now it's at toy shows. I very rarely find stuff in store. Um, so there you have it. That's Any questions, please put them down below. Any insights, uh, tell me that, you know, I'm stupid and way off base. That's fine too. Please hit the like button. I would love to... Uh, if you just say hi in the chat uh, down below, that'd be great too. Uh, helps the algorithms and it helps the whole community. Uh, so with that being said, please like, share, tell a friend, uh, comment, subscribe if you haven't, and uh, let me know what you think of it. And uh, what, and if you collect any higher end, like the G.I. Joe, there's quite a few different higher end Marvel, Legends, uh, DC. Uh, let me know what you're collecting. Until next time, see ya.